The role that disinformation plays in um, campaigns as it relates to cybersecurity is to create confusion. It's pretty significant. It is a form of active measure, psychological warfare, and it gets individuals to change their decisions, which could ultimately allow a nefarious actor or a nation state to help the person they want. The way that disinformation campaigns can be effectively countered is to actually present the truth, fact finding. So when you think about what Twitter did in terms of saying, hey, this is fact um, of a particular statement that was presented, this is the same thing that needs to be done and on a continuous basis. Because there's so much information that's being presented to people every day and individuals will not look at this stuff on their own. They will not research this. In the states, what we've done is we've passed legislation against robocalls, the use of AI, and this is big because you could actually manipulate voters and saying, hey, like this particular senator or legislator said this and it's not them, it's actually a speech that was created by someone else to say a message that is harmful to them. And so that really creates disinformation as well, but this is more legitimate because now you're hearing a particular voice, they're calling you, they're leaving a message and you're saying, maybe this isn't the person I wanna vote for. Limiting to the use of these, especially in an election cycle, is important because this would allow for voters who are unfamiliar with these technologies and their capabilities to not be exposed to them.